welcome back to Aspen, Colorado here at the 2019 Winter X Games. I'm Troy Lynch alongside Richie Casalino. Richie, day number one was pretty crazy, but day number two is living up to some hype. Unbelievable. Already a record-breaking performance here at Aspen 2019. We're talking about 16-year-old Kelly Sidero. She's from Estonia, and she played down a score of 99. Ridiculous. On the slope style this afternoon. 99 scores the best in X Games history at any level at that event. So a uh, bright future for her. We got some video we're showing you here right now of her performance. She was even stunned. Picked up three <laughs> medals on the last two days. A gold there, obviously, on the 99. A silver yesterday on Super Pipe, and then a bronze this evening on Big Air. We talked to her after that third and final medal. She seemed pretty happy with her performance. Really good. Like, I got yesterday like evening, I got, like, silver. At a, in a half pipe, then great. today morning cold in South Island, now Bronx here. It's just like incredible. <laughs> I really want to do, do all three medals, like very disciplined. It has been my dream and I did it, so I'm really happy about that. The crowd is amazing, so many of them are here and watching us ski and it's just amazing. So Troy, only 16 years old, I think we're going to see a lot more of Kelly in the future. <laughs> I think so. You can't really peak at 16. If you do, like us, it's kind of sad. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, but all right, so day number two is almost over, but I want to take it back to day number one with the men's ski super pipe. That's how it ended, and then there was one local Aspen kid who had the run of his life. <laughs> this is Alex Ferreira. If he lands this, he would win his first X Games gold medal. Who is Alex? He's a 24-year-old that grew up right here in Aspen, Colorado. Ever since he first competed at the X Games in 2013, he was an instant hometown favorite. He won Olympic silver in the 2018 Pyeongchang Olympics, and in his eight X Games appearances, he got on the podium four times, but had never won gold until last night. What is the feeling like to finally bring back a gold medal to your hometown? Dude, it's gold, baby! It's gold! I've been dreaming about this since I was seriously like eight years old. I'm, it's the best day of my life. Best day of my life, hands down. It's been a long journey, not only for Alex, but his friends and family who got to watch and support him right from their backyard. Obviously, I'm biased, so I think he's the best. So it's just, think he it's is. great when he, he finally is. gets what he deserves. Now. At first, it's a lot of pressure because people are texting me, when's the event, when's the event? I don't know, look online, <laughs> figure it out. Like, everyone's got a cell phone. But now, now that it's all said and done, it's, uh, it's really special. From his first run, Ferreira was holding on to the top spot and could feel the pressure. It's where I succeed. I love the boiling pot. <laughs> but on his third and final run, he ended with a score of 92.66 and fulfilled a lifelong dream. How do you feel, Alex? <laughs> Phenomenal, baby. <laughs> and taking a look at the numbers, Richie, the last five times he's competed at the Aspen X Games, he's been oh so close to winning that gold medal, but luckily for him, 2019 was finally his year. It was. I mean, we've had a ton of those awesome local performances. Mm -hmm. You know, we're talking about one again tonight. We're talking about the men's yeah. snowboarding slope style. That's right. You know, just like Kelly Sedario did it. Chris Corning, a guy from Silverthorne, Colorado. He's a local guy. The crowd was loving his performance. He finished third in qualifying for that event. Uh, I talked to him earlier, and he had some good things to say as well. Uh, feels great. I've been in Europe for like two weeks, so being able to come here, and I lived here for about two years, so it's nice to almost feel like home and nice to compete on such a fun course with so many good riders. You know, I think everybody has a really good chance of doing really well, and it just depends on if it's your day or not. So I think if I put down a good run, I have a good chance, but you never know. It's up to the judges. So that event will go on tomorrow, Sebastian Tutan with a 92.66 topping the leaderboard right now. But Chris, was, I mean, he's had an awesome performance because last year he didn't even compete in the second half of the X Games because he had the flu. That's the pesky flu, man. You hate it. Oh, when you're sick and you can't do what you love, that's just the worst. I'm telling you, it's this weather. But either way, he's happy. We're going to have a big performance from him tomorrow. Under the lights should be fun to watch. We're only halfway done here at the 2019 Winter X, X Games, and the fun has just begun. Stay tuned for day number three. We'll have the, all the coverage you need right here on Carry X5 News. He's Richie. I'm Troy. We'll be right back after the break.